Hey, hello guys, Shivafire here. Today I'm gonna teach you guys how to use the rendering server. So here we have a few cubes, and these are all generated using the rendering server. So if you go into the application while the program is running, you could check here, go to remote, you could see there's nothing running, and you could go back to another scene. So let's close this, open this scene that I use for regular, um, regular nodes. Here we have pretty much the same thing, just a different material. But over here now, in the application, you have all these nodes, and they kind of slow down the program very much. Well, just for Linux, I'm guessing. But anyways, in order to in order to do this, let's go back to the basics. We're gonna make a single cube. All right. So what do we need? First, we need to create an instance that will be an RID, and an RID is basically a resource identifier. Then we need to set its base, which is like its mesh instance. we like, what is the mesh? If it's a cube, it's a, you know, or any custom shape you have. Then we need to set where it lives, and that's which scene it's gonna be in, or scenario. Kind of like the physical space that the rendering has to render, I guess. And then we need to set its transform. So those, the last uh, three aren't in any particular order. So you have to obviously create an instance first. So let's get to it. First we'll need an instance for the box and you have to create this outside of the whatever function you're going to use because you want to have a reference to it for later on. Then we're going to create a box mesh which would be uh, its instance shape or its base I should say. And you need to also create this outside of the function because it's, um, it's a resource and it will get removed if it comes out of scope. Meaning if you create it in a function, after the function's done, it's going to get deleted and it would get removed from the scene. Now we get the rendering server and we can shorten it since it's a constant. We just put it into this value here so we could just write RS instead of typing this each time. Because you're going to do that a lot. Now we say rendering server, create instance or instance create. Now we could say RS that instance. We have a bunch of different options here. But right now, to keep it simple, we're gonna just set the base. That would be the mesh that we want to use. So instance set base. And we have to say the box instance, and we have to pass in that box mesh. mesh. Next, we need to set its scenario or where it lives. So say instance that set scenario, and you could get that from this node itself. So whatever node you have the script on whatever node 3d you have the script on get world 3d then scenario and make sure you pass in the, the instance so we need to give it a transform so let's say var trans transform 3d we need to give the transform a basis let's just say identity identity mean all the default values and then we can do a vector 2 or vector 3 sorry and zero so that's all the default values then you say instance set transform box instance and transform and that should be it let's save let's go back here so in this scene i have my camera view with some quick scripts on it just to move around and then i have a frame counter that's about it so let's run the scene there you go and that's all we did to get that and that should be it for the tutorial so if you want to see how I did actually these, basically take that same code, put it in a function here, and pass in the position, do a double loop, pass in position, pass in those ings, you get it. And then I just for the transform, I set that position there, this loop. And if you notice, I'm appending objects here. That's because whenever we're finished, we need to delete everything. So always remember to do that. Let's go back in the default cube. So func on exit tree. Could say resource uh, rendering. Sorry, rendering server that tree already and pass in that box instance. So whenever this scene leaves, this should get removed. And remember, this is a <clears throat> is a reference, so it's gonna be unloaded. All right, and that should be it.
Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.